All right, so what we got here is I left those on the griddle and they're hot as fuck. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? Here we are. Another episode of Cooking Outside with the Schmidt. It's a beautiful evening, beautiful day. Got chores done again, you know, weekends and chores day. But uh, tonight, I'm cooking dinner. Tonight we're gonna do a uh, creamy Parmesan chicken. Found this recipe online, looks super good. I tweaked it a little bit, added a couple more ingredients, you know, for my liking. But what we're gonna do is cook it on the Blackstone and get nice and crisp chicken, mix it all, and then we're gonna put it in the cast iron and roll with it. So while I leave you with that, I'm gonna get going on that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here. We got, we got some bacon. And then we got some onions. And then we got some mushrooms. And then we got our chicken. Now, as far as the mushrooms, onions, and bacon, I don't, there's no specific measurement that I used. I just cut off what I thought I would use and what, how much I would like in there, and I'm doing it. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put us a little bit of oil. Let's see, I'm gonna cook my bacon I think, no, I'm gonna cook my bacon over here. Yeah, cause I wanna use my bacon, oil here, a little bit of oil there. I'm gonna mix that around. Ooh, oil's popping. She's a hot boy. Oil's a popping. So I'm gonna take our bacon. Oh, that sound is amazing. All right, so we're just gonna get this going. Let that there bacon cook. All right, so that bacon there is cooking up nice. I want that to be crispy. Like that's gonna be crispy bacon. Then I'm gonna take my onions and mushrooms and we're gonna throw them over here. A little bit of oil over here. Pop, 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 pop. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna take our onions and our mushrooms. Give it a whole top. Stick with this. All right, I got everything on low heat right now. When I do the chicken, I'm gonna move it up to about medium. Let that uh, sear up that chicken, but for right now, we'll let these mushrooms cook up. I don't want it all the way in the back. There we go. So I'm gonna move my bacon over here. Now I'm just dragging the bacon because I kind of want to keep that grease. So I'm gonna mix that with my oil for the chicken. Kind of frying this, so I want a good bit of oil. Kind of frying it, so a good bit of oil in there. And it's all going to roll to the back, but that's okay. So now we'll take our chicken. Now the chicken I have seasoned with salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic pepper, and then dredged them in some flour and Parmesan cheese, just a little bit, not a whole whole lot. My Blackstone, the oil kind of sits here, so it's perfect for 
cooking it like this. Get it all up in the grease there. There we go. We'll turn that up to a medium heat. Oh yeah, bacon's looking good. Mushrooms, onions. Oh, I lost a mushroom. Darn it. I gotta start over. All right, and we'll let that uh, cook up a little bit and go from there. What I'm gonna do is put me a little bit of olive oil. Okay, maybe a lot of bit of olive oil. I need a lot of bit. A lot of bit. And garlic. Now I didn't mince it. I'm using whole cloves, but I did smash them a little bit. So we're gonna let them cook there. We'll let them cook up. Crank this up a little high because we gotta get that heat transferred into there. Oh yeah. Mushrooms and onions are looking delish. Oh yeah, bacon's looking good. So we are on a roll. This stuff is, oh man. So, it's the weekend guys. Well, I work hard during the week. I, I deserve this, you know? We deserve this. I, you know, cooking and... So I hope you guys had a good week and now, now we have a weekend. Now we get to, you know, cook. So tell me about your week. How was it? You can, you can put some comments down below. It's just, it's always a rough week. But it's over. We got the weekend. We cooking. Cooking a nice meal tonight. And while you guys watching, I mean, it takes a second. Just hit subscribe, like, follow down there. Share. Helps me. Helps me help you. So I got more footage coming. Oh, this looks so good. All right, let's stir this up, look at that. So now we're gonna take our mushrooms and onions. We'll just plop them in there. Those bad boys are done. Bacon is done. Chicken's still going, but at least in here it'll slow down the cook and just keep it warm for a bit. Oh yeah. This could just be a topping. I mean, could you? Oh, could that? Oh, could you imagine this, like on top of a steak? Oh God. That's I'm doing it. That's I'm doing this on the top of my next steak. Alright, let's see how this chicken's looking. Oh yeah, see? That one needs to be going to grease a little more. Yeah. That is some delicious looking chicken. Now we got room. Put it, oh, look at that. That is some delicious looking chicken. Delicious. I mean, so far so good. Now remember guys, it's it's not uh, the right way or the wrong way. It's just my way. All right, so now we're gonna add us a cup of cream. Oh yeah. 
I'm gonna keep this stirring. This is gonna start to thicken up. We're gonna add our cheese up in here. Now, I like cheese, and this is a Parmesan cheese dish, so we're putting some cheese in it. Chicken. Alright, so what we're gonna do is I got the crispiness enough. Set these on the grate. That way we'll keep her on the heat. But off that direct burn. Oh yeah, look at that. Thicken it up nice. Oh, this is going to be phenomenal. Add a little bit of pepper. Just a dash of salt. All right, so now we'll take the chicken breasts and place them in here, like so. Um, okay, so a new bigger cast iron skillet is on my Christmas list. Then we're going to take a spoon and just over top, get it all nice and mm, so yummy. Oh. Look at that. Oh. And we'll let that it just for a few like kind of soak in get that flavor really good all right so what we got here is look at that just oh that's beautiful that's beautiful well that there oh 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 did I did I share did I share wife got me a new uh, griddle juice cup and it holds a good amount of griddle juice. We got our Blackstone label here. Cooking with the Schmidt Blackstone. And then of course you know my griddle juice. It's that that's my, my choice. That's my choice. And then it, it, it watch it works so well. So yeah. Remember don't don't forget your grill juice. That's my grill juice. Now Trish Trish had this made for me. Um one of, her, one of her friends, acquaintances, peep, peep, one of the persons she knows. Um, tumblers with a twang. It's a hashtag, Tumblers with a twang. Tumblers with a twang. Um, they did a really good job. It's super smooth. No bubbles. Like, very happy with it. Um, so, she hooked us up. I hook her up. And I get hooked up. So, here we got finished product so we got a uh, chick the chicken breast coated in a uh, flour and Parmesan cheese and then we got some mushrooms and onions and then we added some uh, whipping cream in there a little bit of oil salt pepper and it's just it's turned out to be amazing absolutely phenomenal dang this pan is heavy there's a lot of stuff in that pan all right, well, that's dinner, guys. So hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Uh, subscribe, follow me. I got plenty of cooks coming. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next cook.